Okay guys, so here's the deal. Killer Mike has emerged as a strong political voice in the current landscape. During a recent discussion with co-founder and executive editor of The Recount, John Heilman for the Hell and High Water with John Heilman podcast, the Run the Jewels powerhouse and activists spoke on a bevy of topics, from Lil Wayne's Donald Trump endorsement to Ice Cube's behind the scenes work with the current administration. Par for the course, Mike was honest and blunt about his opinions on each subject. I don't know why Wayne did the endorsement, he said to Wayne. I'm still a Lil Wayne fan. He is one of the greatest rappers on earth but i suspect like 50 cent said they offer you a million bucks shoot they might have given to wayne they offered 50 a million wheezy they might have offered wheezy three or four you know and sh i wouldn't support trump but if you call me with a five million dollar offer i at least gotta roll over and say shay his wife they offered us five million she's going to say go to sleep you know what i mean so i'm sure that his endorsement was they paid right that's not to say right or wrong that's simply to say politicians are bought by lobbyists politicians spread money around as far as cube who was accused of being a trump supporter in october after 45 senior campaign advisor katrina pearson outed him for speaking to them about his contract with black america cwba and trump's platinum plan he said the blame doesn't fall on the nwa legend they also understood that we were being ignored by the party we had been given so much support to and they took advantage of that he explained they didn't take advantage of ice cube they took advantage of the missteps of the democratic party mike then addressed kanye west running in the 2020 presidential election and basically chalked up the move to his ego he added nothing yay does is a big shock to him kanye could not be kanye if he was not audacious enough to feel he could be president he said he could not be one of the most free and innovative thinkers on earth he could not be a builder of one of the largest brands he could not be a super producer he could not be as prolific rapper with the audacious and he got some great writers too he could not be that so I'm not surprised by as he does. Finally, Mike was asked about his fellow Atlanta native T.I. who convinced Mike to attend a press conference following the police killing of George Floyd. Mike, who admitted he initially didn't want to do it, delivered an impassioned speech about police brutality and other political issues that quickly went viral. So T.I. got you to come up and you're up there with Keisha Lance Bottoms and you gave this long speech, about eight minutes long, that went viral and took you into a different place, Howman said. I can't tell you the number of white people I know who were like, who's this f***ing killer Mike dude, man? He's incredible. And that was a moment, right? In America, that was a pitched moment. There was nowhere in the country where more than 100,000 people live where there was not some racial justice moment happening. But what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.